Hi, welcome to Informatica Cloud videos. In this video, we will be looking at how to read a file as service using application integration. Before we proceed further, let's look at some of the options available in application integration in order to read a file. The usual or the default way of reading a file using application integration would be to use a file connection wherein you will be configuring a file path and a name which can be processed. When you use this particular connection as part of the process, whenever a file has been dropped in this particular path or copied, then an event is raised by this file watch utility which creates or triggers the process. But in this particular demo, we will be looking at how to read a file using an X query directly, wherein we can go ahead and deploy the process to the secure agent. And the user would also have the convenience to define the path and the name of the file which needs to be read. So as part of this particular process which we are going to have a look at, the file name and the file path needs to be configured mandatorily. Optionally, user can also define field name, operator and value in order to fetch a particular data row of a given field value. This particular process works good for flat file of delimited format. We are using xquery function to parse the text. The function which has been used to parse the text is unparsed text which reads non-XML doc. You can also use another xquery function called unparsed text available in order to confirm whether the file is available in a given path or not. We are iterating through the file data using flwr which denotes for, let, where and return statements. Let's look at the sample data of the file which we are going to parse or read through. This is the file which you are trying to read in which if you look at it, the first line attributes to the header or the field names. The subsequent line has the values in it. Our goal is to read the file entirely or based on a condition of a field value. In our case, we will try to read this file for a company with a field value Mercer County Community Call. Let's try to take a deep dive into the process. Browse the cloud portal, log on using your credentials. Navigate to design service process. In this case, I already have the process opened up. Let's look at this process in detail. We are going to look at the process demo file data as service. This is deployed to a secure agent and add configured it for anonymous access and the output field as a whole payload. There are few input fields configured out of which file path in disk is a mandatory field. There is one output field and few temporary fields available. As a first step, which is an assignment step, we try to read the file from a given path. This particular input field denotes the file path and it reads the file using UTF code format using unparsed text function. Once the file has been read, the data is stored in temp data. Then we try to use this temp data in order to read the first line, which is done in the subsequent assignment step. And we try to see whether there is already an input operator and also a field name being defined. If it has been defined, then we see to it that we get the index of this field name and we store the index of this field name in the temporary variable indicator. And we try to only return those lines for which the field value actually matches. Once this process is created and deployed to the secure agent, you'd see the service URL whenever you try to deploy a process to a secure agent it is always deployed with the local host or the host name for which that particular agent belongs to. You can invoke this particular service within your network, but if you wish to invoke the whole service from outside your network, you can choose to create one more wrapper process, which would have the first step as a sub process. In this subprocess, we can define the demo file data as service. 
in the wrapper process you might need to configure run process on as cloud server and you need to define similar input fields and output field you need to see to it that in the first sub process you need to get all this input from the wrapper process and pass it on to the subsequent sub process and read the output and assign it to the output of the wrapper process when you publish this wrapper process you'd see it has a URL which can be publicly be used now let's use a rest client in order to execute this process the following is the public service URL and we'll use a post method in order to send the request with appropriate variable values the file path is essential and mandatory field which we had filled it up and we had configured the dlim address comma field name as company and the operator and field value let me execute this particular request and you could see it has returned only three lines and all these three lines has the value which is provided as part of the request in this way you can try to read the file as a service using application integration process thanks for watching our video we would like to hear from you you can email your comments to supportvideos at informatica.com or tweet us at twitter.com info support.